Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Don and today I'm here to show you how you can install HES IO onto an SSD drive instead of an SD card. Putting HES IO onto an SSD drive will improve the overall performance as well as reduce the chance of getting a corrupted SD card. Let's get to it. Now, the next step involves choosing the correct SSD with the correct USB 3 to SATA 3 cable. Now, the nice people in the Home Assistant community has provided a table to show you what drives work and what doesn't. But of course, if you have a spare drive or a cable lying at home, please do uh, use them to try and uh, report your findings back to the community so that you will benefit uh, others. For today's demo, I'm going to use the Kingston A400 120GB drive plus the Sovereign USB 3 to SATA 3 cable. Now next is to download the actual program. You can download for whatever OS you are on. Uh, mine is a Mac OS and I've already downloaded the program so I'm going to skip this step. If you have not, then please do. Uh, next is to download the Home Assistant image for the hardware that you have. I would assume that you have a Raspberry Pi 3, Model B or a B+. So I really downloaded the image so please go ahead if you haven't. Okay, After you have downloaded the HSIL image file, please do go ahead and unzip it. Once that's done, install and run Etcher. For this step, you need to choose the image that you have just unzipped. Then select the drive that you are going to flash. And click on flash. It will give you a warning that this drive is not a nasty card. But please do go ahead. And then type in the password. Now the speed that you see here, it's not sped up, it's real time. Already you will see that the SD card and the SSD difference. The SD card flashes a lot slower. For Raspberry B and below, you need to enable boot from USB. I'm going to show you how you can do that, but for if you have a Raspberry B Plus, uh, you don't have to follow the steps. Just skip right ahead. Okay, for Raspberry Pi B and a lower owners, you need to download the Raspbian Buster line to enable USB booting. So download the zip. Okay, once that's done, unzip the file. It takes a few seconds. Okay, put it onto your etcher again. Uh, Raspbian Buster Light image. Now this time you need to flash uh, the uh, blank SD card with the image. You can see that comparing the SSD with the SD card, the flashing, it's going to take a little bit longer. Let's speed it up just a little. Now next you need to eject and reinsert your SD card. When you double click, you uh, open the folder. Then you need to find this file here called the config text. Double click and using a text editor, you need to insert this line here. Program underscore USB underscore boot underscore mode 
equals to 1. This enable the USB booting for Raspberry Pi 3B and below. Save. Close it. Insert your SD card. Then wait for about 10 to 15 minutes for the OS to load. Once it's loaded, take it out and plug in your SSD. Do a power cycle. The LED light should start blinking one minute after power cycle. My prepping page come on about three minutes after the power cycle. The login it's about 10 minutes after. You can then key in your name, your username and the password to your SIO and create an account. There you have it. It's fully functioning. That's all for this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.